hello everybody hi welcome back to my youtube channel sewing with sewing thanks so much for coming once again thank you everybody my new subscribers thank you for coming for stopping by my all for all the comments for all the likes thank you so much i really appreciate them so today we're going to be drafting a skirt a skirt pattern and this skirt pattern i'm going to be teaching you how to tighten the butt area okay it's not just a normal skirt but also this skirt teaches you how to tighten the butt area it's come by demand somebody has requested for it on the channel so quickly let's go into it so this line here i'm drawing a line here we're starting this space here we're starting with the front pattern and i'm just going to draw our starting point here this is going to be our waistline this line there is going to be our waistline after the waistline we'll be going straight to the hip line the hip line is nine inches okay mine is nine inches from mine is nine inches from my nine inches from the waistline so mark it and draw a line after that we'll be going to the full length the full length of the skirt and that's about 23 inches so we just have enough here 23 inches then also there's a particular point called the knee line okay the knee line is basically five inches above your knee okay my knee this skirt is going to stop on 23 which is where my knee is but your shaping of your skirt doesn't start at 23 okay the shaping of your skirt at the knee so it's going to come in a bit okay it's going to come together a bit we'll take it up five inches so this is basically going to be our knee line so that's five inches from the length of your skirt so that's at mark 18 because we're going to use that point to shape our skirt okay mine is at 18 so we draw our line here I'll just label hip, knee, and full length. And this is our waist. Okay, so on our waist, my waist measurement, my round waist measurement is 36 inches. Okay, so I'm going to be dividing my 36 by 4 okay because you know we have the front we're cutting the front now and the front is divided into two the back is also divided into two we fold it into two so to get the correct measurement so we're going to be dividing 36 by 4 and that gives me 9 okay that gives me 9 here and I'm going to be putting one and a half inches sewing and cutting allowance on my hip my hip is 45 inches so I'm going to be dividing my 45 inches by 4 and that gives me 11.25 right here then I'm going to be adding my 1.5 sewing allowance okay on the knee line here so how do we calculate the knee line here on the knee line this is not the knee but it's actually the knee line how do I calculate the knee line what I do because I don't want it to just be I want to shape it here a bit so I'm going to be taking 6 inches away from my hip measurement my hip measurement is 45 so i'm going to be taking six inches away from it okay and that gives me 39 okay six inches taken away from 45 is 39 i'll now divide that 39 inches into four places and that gives me 9.75 this is here then i'm going to be putting 1.5 inches sewing allowance on my full length because it's a straight skirt okay so i'm going to be using the same measurement of my knee line on my full length okay so here i get 9.75 also and 1.5 okay so let me just join all the curves all the points together if you don't have a curved ruler if you don't have a curved ruler don't worry a hip ruler or a trouser ruler don't worry you can use your ruler also your straight ruler to connect all the points okay okay so this is the line here that's why i like drafting with pencils i actually made a mistake here so i tried to erase it anyway i hope you understand okay 
and you draft this one all the way down here. Then we come to our allowances here. come all the way down so right here you soften your curves okay nobody has a, you just use your, your marker and your pen to soften your curves here nobody has um, a straight shape like this so this is basically the front pattern okay so we're going to be cutting out the front pattern and I'm going to use it to draft the back pattern normally I don't put um, darts in the front of the skirt or the front of my um, dresses. I put the darts at the back. So quickly, I'm going to cut out this, this pattern. And we use it to cut the back. We need to draft the back. Okay, so here we go. We're done with the front pattern, so let me just label it. Okay, so next thing we're going to be doing is drafting the back pattern. And to draft the back pattern, I'm just going to be taking my zip allowance. Okay, my zip allowance is going to be two inches here at the back. I'm going to be using two inches, so I'm just going to draw a straight line. Then I'll be putting my front pattern back on my back pattern just here after the zip allowance. This is a zip allowance. Let me change my marker. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to mark, take all these measurements. I'm just going to mark my waist my knee and this line okay so i'll be able to draw my straight lines back okay on my waist here i'm going to be putting my darts after doing that i'm going to come here and mark out my waist line these markers are dry I'll mark out my waistline. I'll mark out my hip line. I'll mark out my knee line. I'll connect it, okay? Then, I'll come here, okay? And trace out trace this out onto the back pattern okay I'll trace this out onto the back pattern onto the back pattern so on my waistline here hmm? on my waistline here I'm going to be putting my dart my dart is going to be at 4.5 okay at the mark of 4.5 so I'll take 5 inches before sorry I'll take 0.5 inches before and 0.5 inches after I'll come down by 5 inches, I'll come down by 5 inches for my dart, I have to make sure that it's still on the mark 4.5, okay, right here, then I'll draw my dart out, let me just trace it out, these are my darts for the back pattern, 
then the next thing I'll be doing is this one inch that I've taken here I'm going to be replacing it back here okay I'm going to be so I'll extend this line I'm going to be placing my one inch here good so the next thing we're going to do now okay and I'm going to join this line I'm going to be joining this line here okay this is for my waist I'm going to be joining so next I'm going to I'm going to join it to the waist here so basically we are done with the back pattern so let me just label this this is the hip line this is the knee line so the next thing I'm going to be doing now is I want to tighten the butt area the butt stays around here okay so I want to tighten this area and how am I going to do that on my waistline here I'm going to come out on the zip allowance here by one inch mm -hmm. on my hip line I'm going to be coming out by 1.75 it depends on how big the person's bum is okay on from my hip line I'll be going down okay by five inches as I said this one depends on how big the person's bum is I'll go down by five inches okay because if you take a rough measurement if you measure from the back curve of the person to the under bum most people is 14 it depends on people is 13 so that will determine where you're going to stop your curve okay you that determine where you're going to stop put this particular point okay measuring from the top to the bottom here okay mine is about 14 14 and a half so that's why i'm going to be using 14 inches here so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to connect these points okay i'm going to connect these points and this is going to serve as the box curve okay i'm going to connect these points remember nobody's bone is straight like this okay if you have a hip ruler you use that and there we go and we join it to our knee line and it comes all the way down okay so you know we've added we've added um allowances we've added extra allowances to get the butt cup here so first thing we're going to do is that we're going to get out our zip allowance because even when we cut it at this place here we're going to get out our zip allowance okay and i'm going to use a pencil to do that so now we have this is what we're going to use so now we're going to come when you cut this on your fabric you come in by one inch now okay i'm going to be using my pencil for this okay this is going to now be our new zip allowance where we're going to sew our zip on okay can all see this with my pencil this is where we're going to be so our zip on so now I'm going to just connect remember I'm taking one inch so this is going to be my new zip allowance I hope you can all see it. So this is going to be the new zip allowance, okay? This is going to be my new zip allowance. So now, what am I going to do now? Mm -hmm. Now remember I've taken in, so I now have to remeasure from this new zip allowance and take out all my measurements again because I've taken out of this, okay? I'm now going to take my new measurements again. So I'm going to start from my waist. My waist is 9 inches. I really didn't touch anything there. 9 inches is right here. Okay. 9 inches is right here. Okay. Plus my plus my darts, 1 inch. Plus my sewing allowance, 1.5. So it's right there. Okay. We're going to start from this line. The new zip allowance. Okay. My hip. My hips are 11.25. So I'm going to be taking... 
11.25 right here okay starting from this line here 11.25 right here then i'll take my 1.5 stitching allowance which stops here on my knee line i'm starting from here my knee line is 9.75 so we can see 9.75 is right here then we'll be adding our 1.5 inches allowance there and it's the same thing on this part too 9.75 okay we have 9.75 and 1.5 inches okay so now what we're going to do now is we're going to connect these lines back together to be able to get our the back pattern okay so as i said we're going to be taking our waist our waist is nine inches plus one inch for our darts and 1.5 for 1.5 inches for the allowance sewing allowance on the hip we're going to be starting from this line okay not the black line that we took outside here but the next one where we're going to sew on we're going to be taking from there and our hip is 11.25 which is here then we're going to be adding our 1.5 inches sewing allowance there okay on the knee we're also going to be starting from this line the second line here i hope we can all see on the knee our knee was 9.75 the measurements we're just putting back all the measurements and 1.5 sewing allowance we're going to come and start from here also 9.75 and 1.5 for this so let's join all the lines together now and see what we have okay so you can see our pattern has come out now so i'm just i'm just going to cut it now so that we'll see so we'll be cutting here okay this is going to be our sewing around okay and also i'll be cutting here So I hope you've all seen and I hope you've learned something on, at this tutorial, okay? This is our back and this is our front, as you can see, this is our back and this is our front. I hope we all learned something. If you did, please like my video. It doesn't take you anything, no, it doesn't cost you anything, just like my video. Please comment, drop your comments, okay? If you are a new subscriber, you're just a passerby, please just subscribe to my channel. It will help us to grow. Thank you so much and have a beautiful, beautiful rest of the day. Bye. God bless you.